Hey everybody, welcome to another video. As you can see, by the cartoony graphics, we're in the extended edition. That's right, this must have taken a solid half an hour to design these beautiful graphics. I'm just kidding, I'm going to stop hating on the game for now. Uh, anyways, I got sent a uh, game from Clam Chowda. You guys probably heard of him. He's a great guy, he streams a bit, so... Yeah, he sent, uh... Okay, what? Alright, hello everybody. The problem has been fixed where my game could not launch, or I mean the recorded clip. And here we go, jumping in, this is Clam Chowder vs. Javito's King on uh, Mediterranean. This is EE Group League stage, I forget which stage it is, but it was it was the recent tournament. Uh, maybe a month ago by the time I upload this. But, anywho... Wow, I forgot I was going to say. I'm going to have to speed this up a bit, because as you can, can see, it is a bit choppy. And that's only because I'm looking at Extended Edition. So... You know, it's important that um, that it's not choppy when I'm recording. But now, it's hella fast. Now it's 30 seconds every second that's popping by. Anyways, we're playing Thor versus Set. Uh, very good matchup. Very clean on Mediterranean. This should be interesting. I was told not to look at the recorded game. Wait a minute. Is this guy villager rushing? Dude, he's not going for water. He is not going for water. I think he's villager rushing, which is a really ballsy thing to do on water. But this is definitely not a standard meta game. It's definitely not standard play. Um, anyways, I was told not to look at this game before I record it, and I can see why already. This is definitely something out of the ordinary. It's uh, it, it's apparently going to be a short game, and I don't mean to spoil it, but definitely looks like it. Let's see what other what other tab I can put up here to make this interesting. So we got unit count. Buildings, Observer, you know what, I'll just keep it Observer for a bit, or is production more entertaining for you guys, I, I don't know. Oh, you know what, it's not even choppy anymore, it was only the first few seconds that was choppy. Alright, I'm not that mad at Extended Edition anymore, guys. Ever since I upgraded my computer, now I've got a real gaming computer. And Extended Edition is a bit choppy, but it's definitely not like unbearable like it was before. So, I'm glad it's, it, it's, it at least works for me. But still, if I'm in a 3v3 match, the games are just so laggy, so annoying, because the servers are set up so terribly. Whew. So yeah, here we go. Um, scores are fairly good for everybody. I'm actually genuinely surprised that he went for hunting dogs, and it's apparent that he's going to villager rush. This is not a map that I would ever recommend anybody to villager rush on, because keep in mind, guys, villager rushes are least effective on water maps. Why is that? Because even if you destroy his base, he's still got a massive income that you don't have. So, this is already a very risky, very risky strategy. And I'm not sure if it's going to work out too well for him. But here's a nice animal attack coming in from Clam Chowda. He's just going to walk in a TC fire range, I think. Nope, he's still safe. He stopped just in time. So, he's actually camping here. Until he can use his god powers. Even though he's got vision, you know, he can cast uh, Shifting Sands anytime. But yeah, that's about it for now. Javito. Huh. I could actually cast all the other EE League games too, because apparently they're all really interesting. Really nice tournament plays. Uh, okay, another thing I'm going to critique here is if he's villager rushing, which I'm 90% sure he is, this is a very late advancement. We're five minutes in. He's just going to click up right now. Better cancel that villager and click right up. Um, or not. But either way, I'm not used to this gameplay. He went all in on food, taking a delayed five-minute classical versus Javito, who's almost already advanced. And now he's going he's gonna to notice just about now that Clam has not taken any fish. To be honest, I don't see any way that Clam can win this. I don't see any way at all that Clam has a chance in winning this. So I'm really keen, really interested to see what's going to happen. <clears throat> so he's going for long boats. Only getting a second dock up now. Interesting. That was a very quick advance from Javito, I must say. What time was that? 4.24. Really nice timing on him. He may have actually committed to that advance so hard that he could not afford to build a second dock early on. So interesting play there. And now it's evident that Clem has not taken any fish. Let me just turn on chat in case they start spamming. <laughs> But, okay, there it is. There's the vision. Is there going to be... 
Yeah, it's definitely a full-on vill villager rush. <laughs> I have never seen such a delayed villager rush. But here we go. Perfect reaction from Javito. He's getting Ulf Sarks out ASAP. Wow, that was a weird pronunciation. He's getting them out ASAP. Another very important thing right now would be to have enough resources for a second town center. But you know what? Since Blue's going all in, maybe if Javito defended with an all in um, military push, then that would be good enough. So he did cancel his long boats. Good play there. Okay, well, it looks like uh, the town center did go down. Or it's gonna go down, I should say. With Norse, it's actually hard to defend a villager rush, but like I said, due to all the fish that Red has on the map, I simply do not see a way that Blue can win this. But here we go. Lots of villagers lost for Blue. Uh, Red's coming back with the Valkyrie now. He doesn't have too much to fight, but as soon as that Valkyrie goes down, he definitely won't have much. Well, here's the thing, though. I feel like Javito has a bit more villagers than Blue does, simply because Javito... Um, well, you know what? This is looking fairly tight, except that Valkyrie is invincible. It cannot be killed off by Clown Chowder, so this is this is definitely something. This is definitely a Pro League EE game. <laughs> wait, wait, how does he have 500 food? <laughs> this is such a sloppy game, I'm not going to lie. And now what's going to happen? That's the real question. So, Javito... Oh, he just spent some wood. Why is he spending wood? I was going to say, he could actually rebuild a town center, but what is Clam going to do? I mean, this is not GG yet. Here's some intense micro coming out. I think that Valkyrie could actually be sniped with these villagers alone. As long as he doesn't get surrounded by other villagers. But looks like he is going to get surrounded. He's going for the ox cart. This is the smartest play I've seen so far. Shit. This is really smart. Because if he kills both ox carts... Oh my god! Now Javito has no chance in rebuilding the town center. <laughs> so even if Clam loses these villagers... He's already rebuilding. He's already got enough food to rebuild. So there's nothing that Javito can do. Oh my god. That was so smart. That was so smart. I think Javito made a mistake by building houses. He should have committed. For... Oh my god. He, he should have committed for the wood. But this is absolutely insane. Oh my god. He, ha he has an unlimited supply of food. But who cares? Because he cannot build a town center. It's a good game. There's nothing that he can do. Clam Chowder wins by default. Wow. <laughs> I, I must applaud you, sir. Mr. Clam, <laughs> if you're watching this. That was a brilliant move. I That completely blew me away. I was just ranting on about how there's no way that you can win this as an Egyptian player. Like, if, like this was absolutely insane. Even if I look at the stats, Javita was ahead in every aspect economically. So, there's no way I would have expected him to die <laughs> simply by losing his two ox cards. That was absolutely insane. But really smart. Really smart, I should say. Clever move. Thanks for sending that clip in, man. Uh, for anybody else that has absolutely insane or funny games from Age of Mythology, of course, then you can send it in somehow. Uh, how did he send it in? How did he send it in? I think the best way that you guys can send in clips is... You take your record game, you upload it to some website. Now, this can be anything. Extended edition, uh, regular age of mythology. You upload it to some website, and then you send me the link from the website, and I can download it. So you can hit me up on Steam or Game Ranger or Vubly, or even just uh, YouTube message. Uh, nope, never mind. I don't check my messages frequently enough. So please send stuff through Steam, maybe even Discord. I'm on the Discord channel in uh, the age of mythology thing. Let me show you in a second. All right, guys, this is what the channel looks like. Uh, this, this is what the channel looks like. I, unfortunately, oh, I don't know how I can provide a link in the description, but I'm going to have to ask one of these dudes who moderate this kind of thing to give me a link in the description. But anyways, this is where all the community is at. If you guys have not, not seen this before, you can come on here, mic chat and all that. So you can find strike on here and then private message me and send a link. If you want to send me clips. Thanks for watching. That was an awesome game. <laughs> all right. I don't have anything else to say. Yeah. I'm just going to get out of here.